any of those names appeal to you as an opponent? And who did you name? Uh, David Morrell, mm-hmm. Jaime Munguia, John Ryder. Any of those names appeal to you at all? Um, right now, my main focus is Jamal Charlo. That, that's who I want to fight. So uh, he's been talking about moving up to 68 for some time. I know he's right on the verge of that. And, you know, that's a fight that needs to happen in boxing. Charlo, where you at? Where you at, buddy? Charlo, you fucking sold us out. You said you did it for the culture. What culture? The track culture, nigga? You was running the whole fucking fight. Oh, shit. My kids hating to go to school right now because they don't want to go to school because everybody keep trying to bully them because of they uncle lost. You showed an awful lot of respect, particularly early in this fight. And, and was it because of the difference in weight class or what can you describe to us was the difference? At this point, Jamel and Jamal Charlo's reputation in boxing is almost obliterated. Um, as told with fighting Canelo Alvarez, when I said the fight was going down, it wasn't going to end good and there's no credit to be gained. And now these guys is looked at, especially Jamel, is like the villains of boxing and people can't understand the criticism, you know, and I can't understand how people can't understand the criticism because that kind of dog is not supposed to, you know, cur up like that in the middle of a big fight like that. But nonetheless, you were sold a dream. You were sold a farce. You were sold, you was hoodwinked. You know, I always have to reiterate that. But like I said, these guys' reputation so far is is down the drain. It's done for. Um, but they got options. You know, you can set things straight. At this point, Jamal and Jamel, Jamal got to fight Caleb Plant. Do any of those and names? Jamel got to fight Tim Tazoo. And if Jamel is still worth his salt, he can beat somebody like Tim Tazoo. If he's not, he's definitely done after that. And he might want to weigh the belts out and, you know, try to get the big fights. But this is the problem. You blew that with your performance. So what you think you're going to do with the status and where you're at and with fighting Canelo and with having the belts, what you think you were going to be able to do, which Terrence Crawford is doing now, is he flexing on everybody else? What Jamel think he's going to be able to do, he doesn't have the ability to do it because he gave it up the way he fought that fight with Canelo Alvarez. So therefore, it's only going to leave him to be able to redeem himself in some self-respect is Tim Tazoo. You're going to have to shut them up once more again. Just like Lubin, just like all the, just like all the times you're doubting, people thought it, this would happen to you, you're going to have to shut the people up once again. You're going to have to bring them, keep running your mouth shirts right back out. You're going to have to prove it all over again. That's why I say Jamel Charlo set himself all the way back. It's basically like he's done nothing now. After all you have did to be sitting here right now, and basically you have done nothing, and to be looked at is that they already would not put you on the pile for pile, you're going to have to go the Tim Tazoo route because you're going to have to, because a lot of people are behind him. A lot of people support him. A lot of believe, uh, a lot of people believe uh, Tim Tazoo is this and, and that. You're going to have to go shut them up again. And that's the only way you can halfway get back into the good graces. Halfway. And that's the same thing with Jamal. Jamal, you got to fight Caleb Plant, man. You got smacked for the whole world to see in front of your kids. You talking about your kids getting bullied. They daddy got smacked. Any kid could pull that up and say, what's it that? How am I supposed to be afraid of you? Ain't this your daddy? Pow, 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 pow. Come on now. You got to set that right. And it's going to do well because it's already a, a built-in storyline. It's already built-in drama. Come on now. And you ain't did shit. So once again, if Jamel is worth his song, he should be able to get in there and put up a good fight. Now with them two, you know what I'm saying? I'll never count Jamal out if he ever tried to be focused, but when he drunk like that, it you know what I'm saying, it ain't no telling, but that's all for the better because he ain't supposed to have the belts anyway. So therefore, 
the way that they went out, the way that they ran their reputation into the ground, the way Jamel then bitched up, the way uh, Jamal then went out here and got uh, bitch slapped and all this other stuff, it, you know, at this point, y'all got to fight these guys because anything else is uncivilized because what else do we want to see?